What is bursitis? Here you can see a huge bursitis of the knee. A bursa is a thin sac containing minimal fluid that lubricates the tissue to decrease friction. These bursa are present where friction normally occurs between bones, muscles, and tendons. When the bursa is irritated, inflamed, and painful, the condition is called bursitis. Types of bursitis, knee bursitis, hip bursitis, elbow bursitis, and shoulder bursitis. Knee bursitis. The knee has a small bursa in front of the patella, and when the bursa becomes inflamed, it's called bursitis, which causes pain, swelling, and tenderness, and a lump in the area on the top of the kneecap. It may be difficult to kneel down due to the tenderness and the swelling. Sometimes knee bursitis can occur from occupational kneeling, like carpet layers, pilers, and wrestlers. Try to look into any break in the skin of the bursa. A red, hot, painful, swollen bursa is a sign of possible infection. Wrestlers can have abrasion of the knee. This can lead to knee bursitis that may be infected. Treatment of neighborsitis include anti-inflammatory medication, ice therapy, aspiration, or surgery. Do aspiration, especially if infection is suspected or confirmed. Aspirate first before you give antibiotics. Send the fluid for culture and crystals. Surgery for debridement and excision of the bursa may be needed. Hip bursitis, called trochanteric bursitis, it's lateral hip pain over the greater trochanter, which is aggravated by direct pressure or movement of the hip. It is a painful inflammation of the bursa located just superficial to the bone of the greater trochanter of the femur. It is an overuse condition. The patient can identify the exact location of the pain outside the hip area. Examination will show tenderness over the greater trochanter. Trochanteric bursitis could be associated with iliotibial band syndrome. Rule out gluteus medius tear. A pain of a gluteus medius tear can mimic pain of greater trochanter bursitis. Elbow bursitis sometimes is called olecranon bursitis, which can cause pain, swelling, and tenderness, and a lump in the area at the tip of the elbow. It may be difficult to put the elbow down on a surface due to the tenderness and the inflammation. Bursitis of the elbow can occur due to many factors including inflammation, trauma, infection, or medical conditions such as gout and rheumatoid arthritis. The normal olecranon bursa provides protection and decreased friction to the elbow area, and it contains a little fluid, and when the fluid increases, it can be painful, and that's called bursitis. Treatment of elbow bursitis include anti-inflammatory medication, ice, aspiration, send the fluid for cultures and for crystals, antibiotics if infection is suspected, surgery, debridement, and excision of the bursa. Shoulder bursitis. Shoulder bursitis is also called subacromial bursitis. It is a condition caused by inflammation of the bursa. This bursa separates the supraspinatus tendon, which is rotator cuff muscle, 
from the acromion. This bursa aids in the motion of the supraspinatus tendon of the rotator cuff in overhead activities. The patient with bursitis will complain of decreased motion and painful overhead activities. Shoulder bursitis is a common source of pain in the shoulder. You will find it in about 50% of all patients who come to the doctor with a complaint of shoulder problem. It is really an irritation of the rotator cuff and it can lead to breakdown and tear of the tendon. It could be an overuse syndrome. The condition is often treated by therapy, anti-inflammatory medication, or by injection, either blind injection or ultrasound injection. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.